Fractional distillation separates crude oil into eight useful products called fractions. First, let's see how it works. The liquid crude oil enters a furnace where it's vaporized into a gas. The crude gas then enters the fractionating column. The column is hotter at the bottom and colder at the top. Each fraction in crude oil has its own condensation temperature or boiling point. When the temperature falls below this point, for example 70 degrees for petrol, the gas condenses back into a liquid. It can then be collected for use. So how does the column separate crude oil? Because the column is cooler at the top, fractions with lower boiling points, like petrol, condense at the top of the column. And because the column is hotter at the bottom, fractions with higher boiling points, like diesel, condense lower down the column. Each fraction condenses where the temperature of the column matches the boiling point. So that's how crude oil is separated into eight different fractions. Now let's see what each fraction is used for. Crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons chains of carbon and hydrogen atoms. Fractions with lower boiling points contain shorter chains, and fractions with higher boiling points contain larger chains. This is because bigger molecules have stronger intermolecular forces than smaller ones, so more heat energy is needed to break the bonds and turn them into a gas. So let's look at the use of each fraction. Liquefied petroleum gas is the only fraction collected as a gas from the column. They are bottled for use in cooking and heating. Petrol, or gasoline, is used as fuel in cars. Naphtha is used as feedstock for the petrochemical industry, basically meaning it's used to make things like chemicals or plastics. Kerosene is used as aircraft fuel. Diesel is used as fuel for generators or heavy vehicles like trucks, buses or trains. Lubricating oil is used to reduce friction in engines or machinery. Fuel oil is used in very heavy machinery or vehicles, like large ships. And finally, bitumen, which remains as a residue at the bottom of the fractionating column. Bitumen is used for roads, roofs, and waterproofing. Here's a summary of all the fractions and their properties. Please like and subscribe for more science videos.